So, I love my friends on YouTube. I'm really happy that everyone's enjoying this video. And I have to tell you, we've totally changed it up because I've heard so many complaints about where am I looking? See, that's a documentary film technique and I'm a documentary film director. You gotta check out the doc. It's Naked Ambition, an R-rated look at an X-rated industry. I shoot real docs and in real docs you do an interview like this. But so I don't hear anyone else complaining about where am I looking, I'm gonna stare straight in the camera and look at all of you because I love you all so much. So we started talking about the world's best file naming system. And my argument was to start the file name with a date format that starts with the year, the month, and the day. And by doing that, the files fall into a hierarchical um, order. Every time there's a bunch of files and you have different files, or if you name the folders that way, every time they're on a drive, on a server, or in another folder, they all fall into a hierarchical order. And I don't do YYMMDD because I'm old enough that I actually shot in another millennium and I have to put 19 in front of my files or 20 in front of the files, but you can. If you don't think you're gonna live 100 years and you just started naming files in this millennium, you don't have to worry about it. I also, as I discussed in the last video, add other key points. Now, for me, that's last name, first name, and yes, I did name drop with Martin underscore Steve, and I have photographed him for Time Magazine. That makes sense for me, and again, it's important to use a file naming convention not only for you to find files internally, because this is really not just about you finding files internally. It's also if the files get passed out, if someone else is looking for a file. We're trying to think of the bigger picture here. You have to name the file something. You got to give it a name. So why not give it a name that makes sense? Yes, you all gave me comments about what you can do, what you should do, that you should use directories. We're gonna get into that. I'm gonna do another video on that. You, you can do a myriad of things, but you gotta name the file something. And for me, I try to name it with the best name that's consistent so I know how to find my work.